Today's an exciting video. Today's video is breaking down the details and the exciting news of Refer's Kickstarter campaign. If it's your first time hearing about Refer, I'll be sure to link my Refer review and demo video up above and down below. If you want to see what the Kickstarter campaign is about, what each brush does, how I've been using them, then please keep on watching. Hello my friends, if it's your first time here, thank you so much for coming. Kinky Sweat says from my kinky hair and sweat life, a fitness professional who loves beauty and if you want to check out my movement adventures, all that can be found on my Instagram. Today is very exciting as we are going to talk about Refer's Kickstarter campaign that launched yesterday. I am terribly sorry for not getting this video up in time. With traveling and everything involved last weekend, I couldn't even have filmed in my hotel room if I wanted to. It's just tight, tight, tight. I still wanted to put this video up because I wholly support Refer and the team is just tremendously generous and they're the best. The guys are the best. What is Refer? What do they do? Who are these men who decided to create a makeup brush brand? They are three tech guys. I kid you not. When I met Tom for the first time, I was like, huh. And he said when they started this makeup brush brand, they are tech guys who know nothing about makeup brushes, but they knew that's what people were buying and they wanted to start a business. But the best way, or shall I ask, what is the best way to go forward with something that you don't know much about? You ask questions, you ask for feedback. Hey, what do you do about this? If I wanted to start a brush company, what brushes do you like? I love and appreciate the fact that they didn't come from the makeup industry. You know why? Because they are a sponge, they absorb anything you give them they only want to make the best brushes available for makeup artists enthusiasts like myself and just consumers who want a seamless makeup experience that's why they have their prototype program unlike several companies who have feedback sections on their website or just in general have a feedback email hey let us know how our product is we always want to improve the feedback component of refer is Refer. This is the core of the company. They rely on feedback from the community to create, to design the best brushes in the market because they don't know how, they don't know where to start, what length the brush handle should be, what length the bristle should be, what it what is the purpose of the brush? What does it do? So they had the prototype program where they send you free brushes and they just ask for your feedback in terms of how does it feel in your skin? How does it blend? How can we improve the design? And then if you like, you could refer them thus the name refer to your colleague to a friend and say hey you want to try these brushes what is your feedback like and everyone's feedback is going to be different it's going to vary depending on your background whether you're a makeup artist or your makeup enthusiast or you're just someone at home that wants a great brush that's not going to break the bank but just give you seamless makeup application and last you for a long time time. I go in more depth in my original refer video, but today we're going to dissect all the pledge reward packages that they have on their Kickstarter page. Let me just say, first of all, they've already hit their $100,000 goal. I believe they're already at over 200,000, which is fantastic. So here's the thing. First of all, links will be down below to shop the Kickstarter page and just to go over the different pledge packages. All the brushes are here. Yes, they're dirty, but I washed them on Sunday and they are clean for the close-up shots, okay? Don't get mad at me. I used them today because I wanted to include footage of me using them. I know I have footage in other videos, but I understand how I like to stick to one video and just see the try-on footage here live in person, okay? You're welcome. These brushes, all of them, including the bespoke, are made in Kumano, Japan. The reason why that's a big deal is because Kumano, Japan is known for brush making. Out of 12,000 people, 6,000 of them dedicate their lives to brush making. Let me say that again. Half the population in Kumano, Japan devotes their lives to brush making. It is a highly regarded craftsmanship skill. All brushes are handmade. That's why these take a while to make. And let me tell you, the reason why that is crucial to ensure a brush's longevity and efficacy in blending application is because the bristles are not cut, they're hand bundled. The tip of the bristle remains intact and the way they're bundled will determine its purpose, its finish, and it ensures that your powders, your creams, anything you use these brushes with are going to apply seamlessly on your skin. That's why they 
they are expensive, but because of this Kickstarter campaign, the prices are severely slashed, almost up to 50%. Also, if you watch the Kickstarter video, hi, I'm in it, yay. And I also wanted to address something too. I, this video is all over the place. I'm so sorry. I have so many things I want to say. Forgive me. I also wanted to bring up that this video is not sponsored. Yes, I am in the Kickstarter video because Refer asked me if I wanted to be in it and help them out with their campaign. I said yes, and they paid for my flight and accommodations. That does not deem something sponsored. Sponsored content is a service that's paid for. I would have asked for an amount of money to be in their video, which I didn't. They would have also paid me for this video as well as the first video I did, which they didn't. I wanted to help them because I believe in their product. Paid accommodations does not mean something is sponsored. Sorry, that's not how it works. Even if you think that's how it works, it's not how it works. And keep in mind, I used these brushes extensively before they flew me out to Toronto. They didn't just fly me out to Toronto and I used them for the first time there and just decided that I love them, no. If you saw my video and just saw how much enthusiasm I had for these brushes and the many a time I used these brushes, and yeah, I used them in a video after I came back from Toronto because they're good, so kill me. I just wanted to address that because I know with everything that's happened, right now some of us are still authentic and honest with our videos if you decide to not trust me that's you and I respect your decision before you go off and start hashtagging ad in your comment I would advise that you rethink that and understand the facts in this situation thank you so much anyway the first pledge package available for purchase is the core five you get the number one laid down blender the number two shader number three pencil excuse me number four angled contour highlight blush whatever you want to use this for and the number five like multifunctional brush which i use everything with this is originally priced for 168 dollars and will be on sale in store on december 1st First, but on this Kickstarter campaign, it is now on sale for $99. You get a magnetic traveling case as well as complimentary worldwide shipping anywhere on the globe and is guaranteed shipment for December 20th. It's a long time away, but it's worth the wait. Any of you have refer brushes currently know how immaculate and just outstanding they are in performance and design. Okay. But with the core collection, you're wondering, how can I do my whole face with just five brushes? These are undyed goat hair bristles. You can use them with cream and you can use them with powder. If you're a makeup artist and you don't know what your setup's going to be, or you know for sure you'll be in a tight space and you don't have any room or whatever to pack a million brushes and the five is all you need you can use this to apply foundation take a wipe you could use this to blend in your loose powder take a wipe dab in your contour blush highlight bronzer whatever with this brush it's so multifunctional and the shape is ideal for multiple purposes for application for your complexion. Van, a makeup artist who I met on the shoot, says he uses the number four for foundation because again, it's just gonna give you such a light airbrush application of foundation, looks skin-like, and again, these are natural hair bristles, so it's gonna take away more product than a synthetic brush would. I like that though because I don't want to look overly foundationed up and have cakey skin and texture. So this is just so beautifully soft on the skin. You can use it to apply your foundation. I used it today to apply my contour. Incredibly easy. I didn't even have to brush on my skin in a traditional fashion. I just punched it in and the softness of the bristles just melts the powder into your skin but it's so soft but it still picks up enough product just so it could look perfectly applied and have the right amount on there. You could also use this to apply highlighter, which I've done in the past. You can use this to set under the eye. Why not? It's small and angled enough to get right under the eye. If you love a light application of blush, you could get on here with the cheekbone as well. A multitude of purposes you can use this brush with. Number one is Balm. I like to call this a flat blender because it's pinched, yeah? So it's not your traditional big fluffy brush, but I like that for people who just like to use one eyeshadow. You could take the flat side, dab 
grab in the eyeshadow, pull it across the lid, turn it on its side, and just begin to fluff into the crease so it could diffuse. You could also apply that same shadow or a different shade and pull it across your lash line. And this brush is so incredibly soft and silky. It's not going to skip on your skin. It won't drag. It will just apply the powder smoothly and beautifully. And again, it's just so multifunctional and just quick to change its direction on the skin. Again, you could first apply it here, turn it on its side, and start to blend. But see how the bristles move? They're so smooth on the skin, and that's a standout difference I recognize when I use a natural hairbrush and a synthetic brush. Synthetic brushes kind of skip. They don't have that smooth feel on the skin when I apply in circular motions like this. I feel they're just like, eh, eh. And this is so lightweight and airy that you can see it in the way shadows blend on your skin, on the eyes. It is immaculate. Shader brush number two, bomb. I use this today to carve out my concealer under my brow. And although it's not like super, super flat and synthetic, it's flat enough to get a really nice crisp line. Crisp enough for me, right? Because I'm not taking close-up shots of my eyebrows. So for sure, maybe I'll use another brush, but I don't know, man. I had a grand old easy time using this shader brush to apply my concealer under brow. I also used it to apply my standout lid color on the center of my lid. And then I used it to apply like a metallic shade on the inner part of my eye and it just fits perfectly it's not too big not too small incredibly soft multitude of ways you could use this not only for your standout lid color not only for your inner v but you could also apply a nice defining shade right under the lash line and it's soft it's not going to irritate your lash line especially if you're prone to sensitivity in that area of your eye it's so soft and lightweight it'll deposit the right amount of color you can even use this to blend out your crayon along the lash line it's just so multifunctional and like i said if you are a working makeup artist or you're just someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on brushes who doesn't even want a lot of brushes they just want their routine and application to be streamlined and efficient and because tom dn and kenny are tech engineer guys they're all about efficiency right so they're gonna translate that goal they achieved in their tech world into the makeup brush world and i think it's a perfect pairing to be quite honest pencil brush i mean number three one of the softest pencil brushes i have ever used it's small but it's so flexible incredibly flexible it picks up product beautifully places it perfectly on the inner corner or lower inner third you could even use this to carve out your crease if you want a really sharp cut crease eye look you could use this to blend out your cream eyeliner across the top lash line you can use this to blend out a deepening shade on the outer third of your lower lash line so many uses for each brush and i think if you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money but you just need like that intro brush set to just introduce to you a world of great brush design and efficiency then the core five will hold you down absolutely the next pledge package up is the bespoke five now there are more than five brushes here but out of these you can choose three eye brushes and two face brushes a bespoke five bundle is originally priced for 185 dollars but if you pledge 110 and more you can get customize choose your own three eyes and two face brushes out of these i'm going to take a second to explain each brush because if you're wondering what these are what they do first up we have the number 16 which is funny because wayne's brush is also number 16 but we're going to talk about the difference for sure if i could find him where are you wayne where are you this is wayne's number 16 i also have hakuhoto's j5522 as well as refer's number 16 brush it's probably very hard to tell especially because this has color on it so let me rub it a little bit i did my eyes with it today i would say refers number six is a mix between wayne's and hakuhoto's a big fluffy brush this brush you can use in varying ways if you don't like a lot of concealer you can use this to blend down your concealer right under the eye i like to use this as my transition brush shade because i do have a lot of lid space so i can use this brush in my crease without fear of it traveling too high to my brow but if you have small hooded eyes but you still love to have a fluffy brush on hand you can use this to just blend the edges of your shadow that's already been applied with a smaller fluffy brush this brush is such a workhorse they're all are they pick a product 
a lot of product, lay it down well, and then it just blends out like a dream. Incredibly silky on the skin, does not drag or skip, and the finish is just diffused and blended. It is incredible. Number 15, perhaps one of my favorite shapes out of all the crease brushes available. This is like my Wayne Goss number four. Okay, it is, I feel, a touch softer. I know. How dare I? How dare I? This is Wayne's number four. I would say Wayne's brush is a touch smaller. So you know what? If you have this brush, stick with it. If you have smaller eyes, I found that even with this size, it keeps the color right on the outer V and I don't even have to blend that much. I just punch it in and for some reason, it just goes whoosh. Oosh. It just diffuses the color so effortlessly. I don't know how it does it. It picks up so much, but it's so soft on the skin. I don't understand. I don't understand. Such an easy brush to use. And again, if you have smaller eyes, yes, the Wayne brush is a lot smaller, but, but if you're like, that's still too big, Alicia. Well, the number 14, which is an even smaller crease brush than the number 15. So here they are side by side. You see that it is significantly smaller than the number 15. And this gets right into the crease. I use this today because I just wanted more color throughout the crease, but I knew maybe the number 15 will be a little too big for the section of my eye. If you have small hooded eyes, let me tell you, this compares to my Hakuhodo, where is she? J146, so this is my Hakuhodo brush. The Hakuhodo is a little smaller, so maybe if you already have this and you feel like you don't need a brush like it, the number 14 from Refer is a little bigger and I find perfect for me that has more eye space to deal with. I think it's just perfect for precise crease application. I like my Hakuhodo still. It does the same thing for me, but this is gonna pick up more product because it just has more bristles. This brush right here. The number 13 is the smallest crease brush they have to offer. Small hooded eyes, you need this. You need this even without small hooded eyes. Let me tell you why. Super precise application of color throughout the crease. Crazily perfect for lower lash line color placement. I like a little smoke under the lash line and this picks up just enough to pull it across but blend it at the same time. And again, it's so soft and just, oh, I love it. I'm trying to find all the comparison brushes. I need to have a different type of system for this. I'm so disorganized. I compare this to my Hakuhodo J5529. So this is the smaller Hakuhodo brush that likens to refer number 13. The difference though, I feel if I'm seeing them is the refer brush is a little pointier. I know it's hard to see, I think it's a little pointier and the Hakko Holder brush is a little rounder. Yes, they are very similar in feel and shape. So again, maybe you don't need to get the number 13 if you already have the Hakko Holder J5529, but if you don't, I would highly recommend that you pick that up. If again, you have small hooded eyes and you just need that crease brush to fit right there. Mature lids, listen to me. If you need a silky brush that's going to glide across your skin and not pull it all over the place, but still deposit the color effectively, have no fear refers here number 20 number 20 my fan brush i have been using this fan brush non-stop i have my sonya j fan pro on standby just so you can see the difference in brush length now keep in mind because it is a longer bristle brush than Sonia's fan, not only can you use this for highlighting on traditional areas of your skin, I love this for highlighting because it's so airy, it just diffuses the product perfectly on your cheekbone. But because of the longer bristles, I actually use this to buff my makeup after all has been applied. I also use this to apply like a shimmery blush on the cheeks and the airiness and just lightness of the brushes just makes it so easy to blend that type of texture onto the skin and it looks smooth when you're done. You could also use this to carve under your cheekbone. You could use this for everything. Okay, if you wanted to carefully get some highlight on the brow bone, on the bridge of your nose, on the cupid's bow, this is perhaps one of my most favorite fan brushes I have in my collection because again, it is so multi-purpose, but so light and airy and so soft, not rough, not harsh on the skin. I use both my Sonia and my Refer brushes. I use Sonia if I want like a spotlight effect on the very smallest part of my cheekbone, then I'll use a smaller brush. But if you don't have a fan brush at all and you need one that's gonna be 
good, then I will get the number 20. Number 12, the pencil brush. This is unlike any pencil brush that I have. The closest one that resembles the shape is my, again, Huckle Holder brush, if I could find it. This doesn't have a number on the handle, but the difference between, well, this is squirrel hair and this is undyed goat. The Hakuhoro is more pointed, so it's going to give you a more precise placement of application. This, though, I love for like a little more boldness under the lash line or even more boldness on the inner corner. And if you want a little more color across the crease, if you like to apply your makeup in that way, like you want that outline first and then you'll go in after and blend, that's going to be perfect with this brush. Even though it's more densely packed than its crease brush counterparts it's still so soft and airy on the skin and will just glide across it like silk no problem the flat kabuki brush number 17 i'm sorry this is dirty i didn't find it at the time when i was washing my brushes don't yell at me this likens to my chico hodo foundation brush from their holiday 2018 set they're very similar but you see the refer one is a touch and although it's flat top, it's still so soft. And I love this, especially if you love to use cream products. It just fits perfectly right there in the cheekbone area. Just perfectly. You could even use this to blend out your found foundation. Or yeah, you could technically use foundation under your eye. But I'm just going to say concealer to be uh, politically correct. Right on the eye, you could press powder down. I mean... This is such a great brush. This is small, so yes, for foundation, it might take you a little while to apply it all over your face, but you know, but if you love small flat top kabuki brushes because of precise cheekbone work or you like to take your time with foundation and just spend 20 minutes applying, listen, that's you, okay? That is number 17, flat kabuki. Number 18, small tapered. Can never go wrong with a small tapered brush. Listen, under the eye for setting, highlighting, car out maybe a very precise application of contour or even bronzer maybe a nice airbrushed touch of blush on the apples of your cheeks maybe a very precise placement of like a blush top or highlighter right here on top of the apples of your cheeks bridge buff i mean this brush is so good it is very much like the wayne goss number two from his holiday uh anniversary or should i say anniversary set holiday anniversary man i would say the refer is just slightly more tapered and smaller but yes, they are very similar, and I feel that uh, the refer one has a little more... The Wayne Goss is a little more fluffier, I think, because it doesn't have as many bristles. But yeah, if you already have Wayne, maybe you don't need number 18, but let me tell you, if you don't have one of these at all, maybe worth considering, yeah? Medium tapered brush. This is what I call it. It's not the official name. The official name is the number 19. I don't have a brush like this in my collection. It is unlike any shape I have. It is pinched, so it's flat, but it's tapered, and the bristles have multiple layers of length. You could use this to put on foundation. I use this like a paddle brush, and you could just plat, pat, 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 pat that on. You can use this to buff, which is what I used it for today. Once all my complexion products were applied before I spritzed, I just took the tip of the brush and just pulled it over all over my skin. You could also use this to apply your contour, maybe a precise placement of bronzer. You could even use this for highlighter because again, it's so tapered that the product will just end up right at the tip and it'll stay right where you need it to stay right on the cheekbone. You could even use this to pat down loose powder under the eye to set your concealer i used it to carve out right under the cheekbone to just make my bronzer and contour look cleaner i love this brush it's so great and again unlike anything i have in my collection so i would definitely recommend this brush because if you're going for the bespoke five and it's just two face brushes that you would choose i would choose this one and i would choose the fan small hooded eyes definitely go in with the number 15 14 and 13 I'm sorry if this video is long, I'm chatty, just thank you. Now the bespoke 10, if you pledge $199 or more because it is originally priced for $368. Keep in mind, you could also pick from the traditional handle brushes that I presented to you as well as the core collection. So any six or four eye brushes, six eye brushes or four face brushes you can choose from that arsenal. That is so great because listen, you could just choose what type of brush you want and make sure you see the end of the Kickstarter video because it will give you the instructions on how you can choose the style and length of the handle 
who does that? So again, for Bespoke 10, you can choose any six eye brushes or any four face brushes. Pledge 220, Core and Bespoke Collections, originally priced for $439, so that's like 50% off. And with this collection, you're able to choose your own handle and style. Again, complimentary shipping, magnetic traveling case, and guaranteed delivery by December 20th. So that'll be 14 brushes in all. The five core collection that I showed you in the first pledge bundle and then the bespoke collection the brushes i just showed you the breakdown all nine of them with this pledge package and the 285 the most expensive pledge package that they have the core collection the bespoke collection brush number 11 i will put a picture up next to me for what brush 11 is that's what's included in the 285 package that one sold out because it's originally priced for $569. And all production for all pledge bundles and packages start on August 1st. They are prioritizing these orders over their own stock. So they're gonna make sure you're gonna get these first and then they'll take care of their own stock later. This set, the Cork Collection, the Bespoke Collection, and the Number 11 Brush, complimentary shipping, guaranteed delivery by December 20th. Do make sure that you watch the end of the Kickstarter video because again, they will give you instructions on on how you could customize the style and length of your handle. I just wanted to share a big thank you to the refer team. My friends, you are onto something great. This is unlike anything we've seen with the brush company. Again, three tech guys who have no idea what to do, but they decided to rely on the community for their feedback. Again, the two main bundles you have are the five from the core collection and the nine from the bespoke collection. Depending on the pledge package, you can choose whether it's any three or two from both, or any six or four from both eye and face brushes respectively. So you're not tied to a bundle. Again, you can choose the brushes as you like. Customize the set depending on your eye shape, your face shape. It just makes it really easy and fun to just check out all the brushes and customize your own bundle. If you like how they come, you just get the bundles as they are. But the Core 5, the Bespoke 5, and the Bespoke 10 are still available for purchase. So check that out on the Kickstarter page. I cannot thank Tom, Kenny, and Dien enough for their hospitality and generosity. They were so kind and just very easy going about this whole thing. They didn't force me into anything. They just wanted my help because they saw how passionate and enthusiastic I was about their brushes and they were correct. To work with individuals who are so open and willing to just have world-class brushes available to the community and to work as hard as they can to make that experience seamless and efficient is beyond anything I could possibly ask for or we could expect. I don't know if you've seen the feedback, but it has just been significantly, positively, the utmost super enthusiastic impact when they're at the makeup show and the line was just nuts and everyone was mad about it they were giving away brushes for free thousands of dollars worth of brushes because they knew how important it was for people's feedback to be considered to be heard insights to be provided so again they know what's going to be the best design overall for the market. Again, let me know if you received any of your refer brushes from their prototype program. Let me know what bundle you decided to get and we'll take it from there. And that, my friends, is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another review, demo, Kickstarter campaign, or get ready with me. Take care and I'll see you again soon.